be launching. Uh, we're even more excited that you would join in on this journey with us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. What is Learning to Live TV, you ask? Well, um, on here we're going to be diving into all kinds of crazy things that we're learning to live through as human beings each and every day. So it's definitely going to be entertaining. Uh, we're going to jump in on this first episode with a little bit about my journey and why I started learning to live TV. And we're going to talk about how tequila saved my life without a hangover. So, uh, it's probably not quite the type of tequila that you're thinking. Uh, this is tequila. She's beautiful. She's my 15-year-old schnauzer. Uh, was the real tequila involved during my journey? Uh, probably just a little. Um, but today we're going to focus on her. So, how did she save my life, you ask? Um, well, I used to date a guy for six years. In fact, this guy even uh, eventually proposed to me. So the shock of having a ring on my finger had hardly dimmed before the chaos struck. So moving on to Tequila and her part in this story, the ex and I were both going out of town for work and we were going to be gone at the same time. So I asked if his best friend could watch Dog Sit, Babysit, our beloved Tequila. So I took her over the day that I was leaving and I noticed that at the best friend's house, there were already bowls uh, from my home. And when I inquired why he already had bowls for tequila, he said, well, April, I just, I had tequila last week. And I asked, well, why would you have her when the ex was here? He was watching her while I was gone. And he quickly responded, no, he wasn't. He went out of town. And I guess he saw the funny look on my face when he realized I was unaware that he had gone out of town. And he kind of tried to recuperate a little bit. Um, but you know, I think the best friend genuinely had no idea what was going on, but after that conversation, um, I'm not really sure how long it took me to get down the stairs of his apartment that day, uh, but I know that once I did, I had such a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach that I immediately threw up. Uh, the ex and I had a pretty healthy relationship, and I never really once questioned his character or actions, but we've all had these gut instincts in life at one point or another and we we all know that they're almost too strong not to be true so several days later i did indeed find out that the ex did in fact cheat on me and that's where that relationship ended and tequila and i parted ways from the life that we had known from the past six years and we parted ways from the future that we had planned for ourselves so, guys, whether it's a breakup, a loss of a loved one, a broken friendship, loss of a job, whatever it may be, we've all been completely broken at some point or another. It happens. It's, it's just called life. So, I was actually reading a book during my healing process and searching all of that. So, I was actually reading a book called Life of the Beloved. And one day I came upon this quote. And it says, um... The deep truth is that our human brokenness need not be an obstacle to the joy and the peace that we so desire, but instead it beca can become a means to it. Huh. I guess I've always viewed my brokenness and weakness as a sad and bad time that I'll look back on later, but yet appreciate how I was pulled out of my pit. And while this is all still very true and the pain is very real, there's something incredibly beautiful about the actual heartache that... I was never able to see before this one. And guys, things just happen in life. Rugs are pulled out. Our worlds are shaken. I mean, this typically leaves us with involuntary weakness. We feel completely exposed, sick, vulnerable, not a good feeling. But it's here that we have the opportunity to do one of two things. We can drown in our sorrows and allow our joy to be completely stolen from us. Or we can blossom. We can turn the page. We can begin a beautiful new chapter and really allow something very powerful to happen. So I recommend the second option, of course. Um, but I found that in my small, smallness and my weakness and my brokenness, spiritual discipline is the only way that I learned how to live through it gracefully. So for the first time, I started to allow myself to be filled with deeper truths of life. And I learned to love and my heartache and embrace my pain. So I, I had to start living again. I had to learn. I'll leave you with this thought. Um, a good friend once told me that maybe God doesn't allow you to go through heartache just for yourself. Maybe He allows each of us to face a different type of brokenness so that we can effectively help one another when the time comes. 
Just food for thought. So that's a little bit about my journey um, and why I created Learning to Live TV. So we're going to be talking and listening to a lot of people's journeys, how they overcame things, lessons learned, um, and not all so deep and serious. We're going to talk about funny things and, and silly things too. So I'm really, really excited. It's going to be a great journey. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Twitter, uh, Instagram, all the social media jazz, and uh, we will see you soon.